We've got bug repellent, more bug repellent. The national bird of Alaska is the mosquito. Did you see the size of that mosquito? It was the size of a jumbo jet. But at least Marianne's prepared. I'm prepared. We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Good morning. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining and I'm feeling much better than I was yesterday, which is fabulous. But I want to start this video by saying a massive thank you to Walmart because Walmart has been making our travels a lot easier by letting us park up in their parking lot. It would be a lot harder finding spots if we didn't have morning, <laughs> if we didn't have Walmart to park in. So absolutely big thanks to Walmart. Today we're heading north a few more hours. We're heading up to Prince George as we continue our journey to Alaska. So we just come across these roadworks. Is it me or are those truck tires like at the weirdest angle you've ever seen? Ever. So another good thing, there's loads of places to empty the loo. They've got these rest stops with toilets absolutely everywhere. This lake is absolutely amazing. And what's amazing is the view from the loo is that lake. Oh, look, there's the loo window. The view from the loo. <laughs> you need to take your picture view from the loo. <laughs> Better than Walmart. So here's a word of advice. If you meet anyone that starts the conversation with what do you think about aliens? It's best to make an excuse like there's something in the oven and leave. But we just had a conversation with a couple at the rest stop who uh, was talking about aliens and also believed that fracking releases all the evil spirits trapped in the earth. Just arriving in Prince George. Well, not very nice weather to welcome us today. It looks like the heavens are about to open. The next day, how does that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> the days are just blending into one. So uh, north we go. Just when you think you're in the middle of nowhere, you come across a little town and we're just arriving in the town of Vanderhoof. We've just passed a sign saying wildlife corridor for the next 70 kilometers with pictures of bears, elk, moose, I got my camera ready just in case we see a bear I can take a shot. We're armed with bear spray in the door there just in case one comes and says hello and Marianne's got a fog on. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be prepared. come round the corner and there's a massive mountain in front of us with snow on the top. I think the drive ahead is going to get a little bit interesting. There you go, we're just driving through Houston. It's a different Houston to the one we were in last time. Houston, British Columbia. Famous for fly fishing. Oh 
my goodness, it's just getting better and better. More mountains, more forests. We were just saying it's actually turning pretty cold, but then after all, we are heading up to the Arctic Circle, so what do we expect, right? <laughs> Okay, people, check this out for a view. Look at that, the sun's lighting up the mountains in the distance there. What a fantastic drive we are having today. I cannot believe the epic scenery that we're seeing. And the roads are slowly getting quieter and quieter. Welcome to Smithers. Right, so now we've got to find somewhere to park up for the night. We found somewhere we think. Uh, yeah, turn right here. Uh, clear my side. Okay, not the prettiest place we parked up, but we've parked up on this little bit of land with some trucks. There's another couple of RVs next to A and W nice views of the mountain and uh, we're gonna hang out here uh tonight and then tomorrow morning we're gonna carry on north and i promise you that the places we park up are gonna get a lot more beautiful all settled all settled <laughs> but to be honest a minute ago we were just hidden away <laughs> in amongst some long trucks with trailers and then they left, so it, we're sort of like... It looks like you've parked really badly, Marianne. It does. There was another truck here and another truck here, but now it looks like you've just parked up in the middle of the parking lot, all on your own. Hopefully we'll get some company soon. <laughs> I do a view from the loo, as you know on Instagram, if you're following us there. And that was our view from the loo. It's not always pretty, although that blooming is. But actually, we ended up finding this place. It's called Smithers uh, in British Columbia. We found this spot. It's got showers for $10. Hottest, best shower Chris has found ever. He rates the showers. I just like showers, but he loves showers. Uh, but also washing and laundry really quick. Good internet. We've used their internet. I'm clean. He's clean. Look <laughs> at him. He gets so excited. But for me, get out of the way, Fisher. Oh, we've just trashed the bedroom, but <laughs> look at this, look at this, all lovely, fresh, clean bedding. And next to Trevor, we have a new teddy that my Aunt Julia gave me. So what should we call him, folks? What do you reckon? I reckon that you've got a clean husband. Okay, might still need a shave, but you've got, <laughs> you've got a clean husband and uh, we've been we've been parked up here working today editing the videos for you and uh, we're just going to nip to the post office post some stickers and then we're heading Kitwanga. Uh, Kitwanga. we're going to Kitwanga. what a cool name let's hit the road mrs fisher and a big shout out to sam and andy our friends that we're hopefully going to be introducing to you soon for doing so much research and sharing it all with us so we just passed a sign which is a little bit disturbing. In fact, it's a lot disturbing. It just said, girls don't hitchhike the highway of tears. And then it had loads of missing women on the, on the poster. That's not good. So it is worrying actually. We've seen a fair few missing posters mm. on the way. We've just seen a fox. It's like a wolf fox. It's like a coyote. A coyote. It's a We've coyote. just seen a coyote. It was stood. Oh. We're stood by the side of the road. It's gonna be good. Now that is what I call a river. That's a huge, fast-flowing, 
crazy river. Look at that. Stuart Alaska Highway. How cool is that? That's where we're turning. Welcome to Kitwanga. So there should be a uh, campsite just down here, which is like a donation based community campsite. There you go, Kitwanga little campsite. How cool is this? That's fabulous. Good morning. What a place to wake up to. So this is where we slept last night. That's where we are, the Kitwanga Centennial Park. One neighbor here, uh, a couple from Michigan. And uh, look, there's Trudy Parts in the trees. It's a great facility. They got picnic tables, little fire pits. And it says here you can stay for a maximum of three days and uh, they give you wood wood for campers only they put wood in there there's even an axe so you can chop up your kindling they got lovely dry wood in here what a spot hey we got a little notice board be bear aware, make noise so that no one is surprised. There's a donation box there. Looks like there's toilets here. There you go. There's a little pit toilet there. Loo roll. What a fantastic facility. And there's a visitor's book, so we should definitely fill that in. Oh, oh that's nice. That's really nice. Oh, oh look, yeah. people from all over the world. And there's one here, June the 4th, 2021. Wow, love it here. What a wonderful campsite. Thank you so much. Sam, Andy, and <laughs> James from England. <laughs> we're coming for you. They're our friends and we're gonna meet them soon. So yay! Right, let's fill up this book. Give them a Tread the Globe sticker. Since we've crossed into Canada, it's been much easier to find uh, park-ups. I just love the fact that we're surrounded by these snow-capped mountains and bugs. There is a lot of bugs already. We've also heard that the national bird of Alaska is the mosquito. Did you see the size of that mosquito? I don't know if the camera caught it, but- My God, it's like a daddy long legs. It was the size of your head. <laughs> okay. It was the size of a jumbo jet. There is a lot of bugs in here. There's even, there's little ones. There's oh, we need to close the door. What are we doing? So today I feel like the real adventure is going to start. We've turned off the big highway that runs down to uh, Prince Rupert and we're heading north. Bears, wildlife, glaciers, mountains. It's gonna get pretty serious driving ahead, I think, for the next, uh, the next few weeks. And one thing we have been warned about by everybody is bears, but we're prepared. We've got bug repellent, bug spray, more bug repellent, a foghorn, bear spray, bug off candles, and a mosquito hat. Grizzlies are what we're worried about. We've been told black bears, you can scare off with a bit of noise, and bear bells. They're not gonna scare things away, but by carrying one on your rucksack, they can hear you coming and they stop, but there's like a little magnet at the end, and you put it there and it stops it rattling, so we can hang it up in Trudy and it doesn't make any sound until you take that off and then it does. That's very cool. But at least Marianne's prepared. 
unprepared. This is a great app. We laugh now, but this is actually going to be really, really good. So with all of that, we feel ready to start the next leg of the adventure. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Join us next time as we continue our adventure up towards Alaska. And if you want to see more, check out this video right here.